Shalom family, this is a word of warning. You don't need me to tell you, deception is everywhere. You already know this. But what you do need to realize, how much deception do you believe that is true? You believe in this deception, it's a lie. And you think it's truth. And you base your life on this lie. This is what our people are doing. And so this is a word of warning for those who are believing a lie. This is deception. You believe something is true and it's not. You base your life on it. You base, rather, you live life eternity with the righteous or eternity in torment. This is what you're basing it on. This is it. Now, where is this coming from? Most people, we grew up in Christianity. And so Christianity fed us many, many lies. And then when someone tried to give someone truth from Torah, see, this is where the problem comes from. Someone tried to give you truth from Torah. You go against it. You say, no, no, because of what's in the B-I-B-L-E. You see, you go to the new part of the Bible or the end of the Bible, it says something different than what's in Torah. And all Christians believe this lie. And our people are still believing lies from Christianity. It's poison. It's deadly. The ones that make it to the wilderness will be confronted with all the lies that we've been fed. Did not the scripture says, gooey will come from the end of the earth and within the borders, in the land, and say, surely we have inherited lies in unprofitable things. Where are you? You scattered in the lands? Where are you? You are around lies. Don't expect the father to deal with you when you hadn't came out of her. He's not going to deal with you. If you hadn't came out, he told you to come out. And so for the ones that came out, something happened to us. The father began to deal with us. He began to deal with us. He began to show us things. And when he show us things, before it happened, in dreams, it comes to pass. Now this is a great indication to know if the Most High is working with you, with you, dealing with you, or not. If you hadn't seen anything, you're having nights with no visions, your visions, you're seeing something and it's not coming to pass? You haven't saw anything to come to pass? That's a great indication. Wisdom is not operating with you. You don't have her. And why people don't have her? They're holding on to their lies. The only thing the righteous can do is give people the Father's word, which is his Torah. You see all these different ways people come with deceptions? And one of the biggest things, we deceive ourselves. And Yahushua told us in Matthew 24 and 4, take heed. Take heed and let no one deceive you. Take heed. Make sure no one deceives you, including yourself. Don't you know the words of the Father is forever? Don't you know Torah is perfect? The enemy has changed what the Father intended for his people. It has been changed. The religions changed what we're supposed to have in Torah. When Yahushua come back, he comes back to cleanse the sons of Louis that Yehuda's offering will be pleasant in the sight of the Father's word. Who does not believe this? Who does not believe the prophet? See, if you don't believe the prophet, don't expect a reward from the Most High. You won't get a reward from the Most High. Your reward will be everlasting torment. It's one thing to be ignorant. It's another thing when someone tells you the truth of the matter and you continue to believe the lie. 
And this is where our people at. This is what they're doing. They continue to believe the lie. They think they know something. They think they know it. And they don't. They believe they know how to inherit eternal life. And Yahushua told us, you want to enter into life? He made it simple. He didn't give a long dissertation. This is what people are looking for. Some long story. Some long... Listen, listen. He made it super, super simple. But the simple can't get it. Because of their programming, they cannot get it. All you got to do is keep the commandments. In order to keep the commandments, we got to go back to Torah to find the commandments and the prophets. Come out of her, my people. People are looking for rewards from the Father when all they're going to receive is destruction. This is what will be coming to them. Check yourself. Check yourself. Go to the Father. Am I believing lies? I don't want to believe the lies. Am I really believing lies? Show me all the lies. Show me the lies I'm believing. One at a time. And here they come. That's if you're honest and sincere. And most importantly, you humble. It's not for those that think they already know. We got too many of them. Most people think they are. They, we got YouTube teachers teaching on YouTube. They think they know something and they don't. They're after money. G-O-D is their mighty one. The mighty one of fortune. Money. They'll tell you who they serve. So you have to check yourself. To make sure, I have to check myself to make sure I'm not believing lies from Christianity. And so what do I do? I dig hard in his word. I know his word in Torah. This word, this is an everlasting covenant. The words of man fades away. All that stuff in the New Testament, watch this. It's going to fade away. But the words of the Father are going to last forever. So we search for the truth. We dig. We search. We seek and search. Remember hide and seek. And our people are not seeking. You're not seeking him when you continue to continually to believe the Christian lie. You're not seeking. And someone give you scriptures. See, I've given people scriptures. They vomit those scriptures. I'm believing my Christianity lie that I was taught in Christianity. I don't care what nobody say because this is what's going to get me in. This is what's going to make me enter in. What are you going to enter in? Christians tell you you're going to heaven. You believe that too? How much of the Christian lie do our people believe? Still believe. It's unbelievable. How you would think I'm, I'm playing here. You would think I'm lying. This is a joke. These are real people that say they're in the truth. They say they're in the truth. They say we are to keep, they say the law. They, they want to keep us from that word to run. And we got we to gotta put that word in our mouth. Because the law is, is, is a weak way of saying, it's the English weak way. Of saying truth, light. Without this Torah, you we walk in darkness. We should know that by now. The Torah is truth. Christianity is a lie. And our people should know this by now. But we don't. So check yourself. Which one are you walking in? In the truth or the lie? You walking in one of them. Which one is it? The Father showing you things and it's coming to pass? If that's the case, you know you're walking in truth. He's working with you. See, there are many people, they message me. And then they saw something and then it came to pass. 
It could be next month. It could be next year. It could be two years. But one thing for sure, it came to pass. See, these people, most high dealing with them. And then the people that keep that Christian mentality, the most high not dealing with them. Why do you think, why do you think the camps are teaching in circles? Why is that so? Why do people don't see under them? They walking in a lot. And the most high not dealing with them. They're having nights with no vision. That's why they call on G-O-D. Their mighty one is the mighty one of money. Their mighty one is money. Fortune. They're after things. Most high is not their mighty one. Why do you think they still call on Christ? Who's Christ? The Roman deity. The Roman Catholics call on Christ. They're in the body of Christ. Not us. We are not in the body. The righteous, the ones that walk in truth, they're not in the body of Christ. Proverbs 3. This is a word. Word of warning. My son, don't forget my Torah. See, the father, we've forgotten his Torah. And the father telling us, don't forget it. If you believe a Christian lie, you got to forget the Torah. Because that madness not there. You know what the Christians believe. You know what's in the New Testament. What they call the New Testament. And the father sitting up here telling us. Don't forget my Torah. But let your heart keep my commands. You, what do you who should say? See, this is where we should. These people are not here. They're worrying about this Christian belief. And then there's another thing. They come to me asking me. I have to help people here. What do you think about this? What do you think about? What do you think about? Yahushua dying for our iniquities. What do you think about that? It doesn't matter what I think. That's the wrong question. Next time for all you people that want to know what do I think. This is what you need to say. What did the most high say about Yahushua dying for us? What did the most high say about Christianity? What did the Most High say about Christ? Now you're talking. Because when you say what I think about it, I don't think anything. I have no thought. I have the word of the Father. I live by every word that come out of his mouth. Don't you understand? These are the facts. So make sure you ask the question right the next time. What did the Father say about this? What did the Torah and the prophets say about that not what some man thinks never ask a man what do you think about this what do you think about that his thoughts are higher than our thoughts if you see my thoughts and the father's thoughts who thought are you going to lean on so will you keep these commands in his tour to live of days and long life in shalom will be added. Let not favor nor truth forsake you. See, when you hold on to Christian lies, you don't let truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablets of your heart. And so you do this, you will find favor in high esteem, in the sight of the most high and man. Look at this. Trust in the most high with all your heart. See, don't ask me what I think. Trust in him with all your heart. And so when you come and ask me, what did, what did the father say about this? Now you're talking because I got to give you the father's word. And when I give you the father's word, knowing, know for sure this is what I believe. Trust in the most high with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Don't lean to my, you're trying to lean to my understanding or you're trying to know what is it that I believe. My belief has no bearings on anyone. On that day, you gotta be you're gonna be standing for yourself. I'm gonna be standing for myself. Did you seek him? Did you seek truth? Did you denounce the lies? Acknowledge him in all your ways. Acknowledge him, not me. Don't be asking me what I think. Acknowledge him. And he shall direct your paths. See, this is our problem. We want man to direct our paths. And the father say. I'm the one that needs to be directing your path. So make sure you understand what the father is saying here. 
Shalom.